Habits form as shortcuts, as a way to save us time or to make us feel good. These shortcuts become hardwired because they become stronger neural pathways. And it's actually not really possible to just get rid of a habit. Think about it. So you have to replace one habit with another. You can't just break not exercising as a habit. You have to replace it with exercising. Or if you can't just kick snoozing, it must be replaced by getting out of bed right away when your alarm goes off. So you have to think about it like that. So anytime you're thinking about how you wish you were doing less of something or weren't doing something at all, you know, it could be a vice like drinking too much wine. Okay, so what are you going to do instead when you're doing that? Are there things that you can do um, that become the replacement habit? So that's, that's a key. And so how do we replace bad habits? According to research done by clinical psychologist John Norcross, it's about environment, as I was just alluding to, not willpower. So he said, people can be so preoccupied with examining their inner thoughts and feelings that they neglect to keep their surroundings in sync with their goal. Another person, not a you know, clinician, but Horizon Martin, who's the author and founder of Success Magazine, said, a strong, successful man is not the victim of his environment. He creates favorable conditions. So whatever you're trying to change, Think about it. If you are trying to, let's say, quit smoking, but you only hang out with smokers, what do you think your odds of relapsing are or of actually quitting smoking? I think very low. So you have to actually design, and we're going to talk about that right now, design and define your environment. That's a big piece of making habit change. So we have to actively design an environment that not only sparks self-motivation, but enables us to sustain it in the long run to help us achieve our end goals. So the good news is that we don't need to constantly redesign these environments as long as we design it correctly the first time. So eventually, the current research shows it's about 66 days, but there's still some debate. You know, Some people used to say it was 30 days to form a habit. Some people can say it's as little as three weeks. Some people say it might actually be longer than 66 days, which I think comes out to about nine weeks or so. But let's say it's 66 days. Once we actually form that habit, we no longer really need to actively think about it. It just becomes routine. Not to say that you'll never have you know, a day that you don't meditate, for example, after the 66, but the idea is that it's now hardwired into your brain. So your brain will continue to kind of go to it and not resist it. 